once again a mad prediction even though I didn't predict it clearly but I said Yard sometimes I don't know I feel like him knocking out bombs have made people think that Yard just starts strong he throws punches but he like I said he only throws punches once someone's hurt I expected Yard to be slow think and even in the 12 round 12 what is Yard doing He's got the guy hurt. He should know the fight is close. Why is he not going for it? If he went for it and dropped the guy, he, it would have been at least a draw. Minimum. And I think this is the first time that Yard actually didn't go for it. And I don't know. Because usually when he hurts someone, he goes for it. He finishes them off. But this is the first time where he didn't go for it. I don't know if he was tired or the Kovalev... Uh, him guessing out against Kovalev was probably in his mind. And if the Kovalev guessing was in his mind, that's pretty dumb. Because, bruv, it was round 12. What are you trying to save your energy for? The Gyal? Why are you trying to save energy for Gyal? Do that after, fam. Your career is on the line. Why are you trying to save energy for Gyal? Do that thing after. But Tunde Ajayi, fam, what is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? I remember once, I think it was around 6 or 7, my guy tells him, mentality, mentality. Bro, teach him tactics, tell him tactics, tell him what to do. Don't be telling shouting out, mentality, mind, mind. Are you his psychologist? Why are you trying to tell him about mind and stuff? Tell him what to throw, tell him what to land. My guy's trying to out jabber jabber. All Lyndon and Arthur had was a jab. And this guy's trying to beat, beat him in his own game and jab. This is what I mean. It's a myth that Yard is a attacker. He's a counter puncher, and if someone that doesn't throw any punches, Yard will also stink out the place, unless he he he's, he gets you hurt, and which he did at the end, but he didn't go for it. I don't know why he didn't go for it. I don't I don't know how he thought that he must have been in a healthy lead. He wasn't in a healthy lead. The fight was close. And the BE spoke commentary after round six saying, Oh, Lyndon's hand is probably hurt. Lyndon's right hand is probably hurt. I'm like, bruv, he didn't throw his right hand the whole fight. How the fuck would he hurt his hand, right hand if he didn't throw it in the whole fight? That's impossible. I knew the Lyndon Arthur was just, he wasn't throwing it because he was scared of what's coming back. That's why Arthur didn't throw his right hand, not because he was hurt or anything. And to be fair to Arthur, he even said it at the end in the post fight, oh, I didn't throw it because I was getting counted. Like, how are you going to injure your right hand without even throwing it? That's impossible. Unless he injured it before the fight. So yeah, Yard loses in a kind of a shocker because Arthur never really fought anyone. But I feel like Yard, Yard, you can kind of tell that Yard and O'Hara Davis was trained by Tunde. Well, Tunde, I know, I know O'Hara left, but... um. Ohara started off with Tunde as well. And you can kind of tell the way they fight. Because even Ohara Davis has got mad power. But he doesn't go go for it as well. Until he gets you hurt. And that's what Yard does as well. And he thought he won the fight just by being aggressive. Which is kind of fair. Because Arthur maybe landed about 2-3 jabs around. Which maybe gave it to him. Nicked it to Arthur. But Yard was being the more aggressor. So maybe you could say them rounds go to Yard. But he wasn't really landing anything. He was just chasing him. I wouldn't even call it chasing. He was just walking towards him. Yard was just walking towards Arthur. Tunde is, Tunde is just a hype man. He's just a hype man. He's just good there to be a hype man. Like his corner, his corner work is awful. Awful. His corner work is awful. Like when they were showing on BT tonight. Like he was. What was he telling him? He wasn't telling him shit. If Yard is serious, he needs to get off, get rid of Tunde, because Tunde cost him the Kovalev fight as well. Half of the reason why Yard is the name of what he is is because of Tunde, because Tunde does talk a lot. And I said it in the previous thing, in my previous video that not no one. Well, I I'm I'm speaking for myself now. No one's really gonna believe Tunde as much as they used to, because Yard lost to Kovalev. Tunde was given all that talk before the fight, and he lost. So you can't be given the same talk, but Tunde was, and now he loses again. So Tunde is going to lose so much credibility, and so does Yard. But the fight was close, 
in, in, I think I had a yard winning by one round or something. But it was close. It wasn't a robbery or anything. Yardo just needs to come back. He needs to throw more punches. Because when he did land, he was hurting Arthur. So he needs to throw more punches. I don't know. Maybe the gassing thing is a is an issue. I've never really seen a, a light heavyweight having issues with stamina. Like the only way that people actually have issues in going full distance is the heavyweight. Like Yard shouldn't be really having stamina issues. And if it is, he just needs to lose the muscles. I don't know if that's possible. I don't, I don't know if that's just the genetics. But he needs to try and lose the muscles because that's just making him tired. And yeah, Yard can come back. But I feel like he should have taken the Boetsy fight payday. So yeah, like, comment. What you look for of the fight? Were you shocked? Were you surprised? I wasn't really shocked. I wasn't really surprised. I kind of ex- ex- not really expected it, but I knew Yard wasn't really going to phone me. He's a counterpuncher. Yeah. Peace.